decision to have a child has nothing to do with you. Yeah, I got that the first dozen times you told me. But now your decision involves a long list of potential DNA donors ranging from... Why do you care? Jacks. You were so relieved to find out that you hadn't gotten pregnant. Because I wasn't prepared to be a father. Which I got the first dozen times you told me. And since we're no longer in a relationship, I don't have to take your opinion into consideration. That's your fail-safe, isn't it? Anytime I call you on something, you remind me that we're over and I don't have a say. You don't have a say in my life. Fair enough. But you still haven't answered the question. Why not adopt a child who desperately needs a mother? I appreciate your input. No, actually, I don't think you do. You know what? You're right. I don't. If I want to have a baby, I will. I just hope that you've at least considered the alternatives. Of course I have. Okay, so what about adoption? <sighs> if you must know, I want to have the experience of carrying a child. I, I want to give birth to a little girl or a little boy. Who's father is a stranger or someone i know but you want the father to be a stranger to the baby listen i want a child and i love my parents i mean i want to be able to pass on those genes i love the idea of a little girl or a little boy having my father's eyes or my mother's smile you i mean, consider the risks i used to think that me being hiv positive would prevent me from having a child that's no longer true the chances of the baby being infected are infinitesimal Having a child would be such a blessing to me. I don't understand why you're trying to talk me out of it. The judge has... Robin, you're an amazing woman, and I have nothing but respect for the way you've lived your life on your own terms. Finding out you're HIV positive and not letting it defeat you. Becoming a doctor. Living in Paris. You're one of the strongest, most accomplished people I've ever known. And I know you'll make the right decision. I would never stand in your way. Then why are you harping on adoption? Because you're single. You just got out of our relationship and we meant a lot to each other. Oh, you're going to stand there and tell me how I felt about you? Robin, I loved you. And you loved me. We became part of each other's lives. And now that's over and there's a void. And whether you want to admit it or not, we're both trying to deal with that loss. And that takes time. All I'm suggesting is that you slow down and think before you fill that emptiness with a child. Wow, with you and your enormous ego, there really isn't any room for anything else, is there? I am as a shock to you, but I have a life outside of you, so stop telling me what to do. Well, I'm just trying to suggest that you take some time. The adoption process is long and complicated, and you really have to be committed in order to go through it. It might force you to cool down and decide if being a single mother is really the commitment you want to make. Or is it just a good idea right now? You are so patronizing. Robin, I'm saying this because I care about you. Right, out of the goodness of your heart, totally objective, friend to friend, except a true friend listens. And right now you're not listening to a word I say, you're just stuck in your typical Patrick knows everything mode. Believe what you want. But I would just hate to go see you run off and get pregnant and realize too late that it's not what you wanted. Look, I understand you don't want to be a father, but at least respect and believe the fact that I want to be a mother. That wasn't supposed to happen. So do whatever you have to do. When I leave that mediation, I just want joint custody. Hi. Thank you so much for meeting me. I'm sorry I was late. No, no, no problem. So, uh, let's sit down. What's up? Well, uh, thank you. This might be a little awkward, so I'm just going to jump right in and say it. Mm -hmm. I want to have a child, and I want to do it on my own. Well, not exactly on my own because there has to be a father. <laughs> and I was wondering if you'd be interested. Hey, listen. Do you know if Lucky's talking to uh, Robinette? I have no idea. Lucky and I haven't exactly been amicable lately. We're kind of in the middle of a divorce. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> I know that's going to affect Lucky's decision. What do you mean? Robin is determined to get pregnant. Lucky's on her list of guys. She's going to ask to be the father. You're speechless. I, I, I don't blame you. It's not every day that a friend asks you to help her get pregnant. Yeah, it is the last thing I expected. Okay. Just hear me out, please. Okay. I've reached a point in my life where I've decided that I want to have a family. It doesn't have to be 
the traditional one. I'm actually perfectly happy with the idea of being a single mom. I mean, I know it's going to be a lot of work. Sleepless nights and the diaper changing and, you know, down the line, school, sporting events, all that stuff. I mean, it sounds so great to me. I mean, the idea of, of holding my baby in my arms and, and looking at his or her little face. I mean, I, I really can't imagine anything better than that. <laughs> yeah, kids are great. But you know what? You have time. I mean, you can still wait till you get married. I don't want to wait. I want to do it now. But don't worry. I mean, I I'm not looking for any kind of commitment. You wouldn't be obligated at all. I would raise this child on my own. Think of it this way. I mean, it it's kind of an ironic twist, don't you think? I mean, with the adventures that our parents had together. It'd be another way of the Spencers and the Scorpios, you know, yeah, teaming up. Bigger adventure. Yes, yes, exactly. And since you already have two boys, you know, with Elizabeth, you wouldn't really miss out on being a dad with my child. Like, I really want to do this. Will you help me? You got one hell of a